We all know that 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. But I am gonna prove that 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 with two different approaches. And you can impress your math teacher with this cool trick. I'll start with this simple equation. 20 minus 20 is equal to 25 minus 25. As they both give the same result 0. Now write 20 as 5 multiplied by 4 and 25 as 5 multiplied by 5. Now from the left hand side, take out the common factor 4 and from the right hand side, take out the common factor 5. The brackets on both sides have the same values, so cancelling out the common terms will give us 4 is equal to 5. And writing 4 as 2 plus 2 will give us the final equation 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. Starting with a simple equation, minus 20 is equal to minus 20. Minus 20 can be written as 16 minus 36 and 25 minus 45. Now writing 16 as 4 square and 25 as 5 square. Writing 36 as 4 multiplied by 9 and 45 as 5 multiplied by 9. And adding the fraction 81 by 4 on both sides. Now in the second term, multiply by 2 and divide by 2. The same way on the right hand side, in the second term, multiply by 2 and divide by 2. And now on both sides, we'll write 81 by 4 as 9 by 2 whole square. On the left hand side, we have 4 square minus 2 times 4 multiplied by 9 by 2 plus 9 by 2 whole square, which is in the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square. And that's equal to a minus b whole square. That is 4 minus 9 by 2 whole square. The same way it can be represented on the right hand side as 5 minus 9 by 2 whole square. Taking the square roots on both sides will give us 4 minus 9 by 2 is equal to 5 minus 9 by 2. After cancelling 9 by 2 on both sides, we'll have 4 is equal to 5. And writing 4 as 2 plus 2 will give us a final equation 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. So, did you figure out the mistake in both the methods? Let's see which step has the error in each of the methods. In method 1, this step has the mistake. You cannot simply cancel out the brackets on both sides because the value of the bracket is equal to 0 and 0 is not meant for cancelling out. On multiplying, it will make both the sides as 0 and now the equation is balanced. In method 2, we took the square root on both sides which is the wrong step. Square root must be taken with a plus minus sign. That indicates that the LHS may be equal to either positive value on the right hand side or negative value. On simplifying we get minus 0.5 is equal to plus minus 0.5. Out of these only one equation is correct. But while proving 2 plus 2 is equal to 5, we indirectly took the wrong equation. Hope you guys enjoyed, please like and share the video and if you are new please subscribe to my channel and stay updated with the new logic every week. Till then, give a try to these interview riddles. Also check out difficult puzzles on my channel, Logically Yours.